understand, I truly understand the hate survivor type shit tonight. What are we doing? It's a fucking holiday. My top five, at, as far as I know, top five is Drake, 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 Drake. <laughs> Nigga, tell me who is fucking with Drake. Let's yeah. go through every timestamp record, bars for three hours, a three hour hey. intro. Bro, like. Because of good niggas anytime, it's bad niggas every time. Good evening, America, and welcome to New November Presents. Follow the dog's review. Now, I got notes. Stayed up late last night with DJ Academics on his little live stream. I, 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 I just assume he made it to 6 o'clock. I tried for you, Drake, brother. I tried. Um, now, from what I got, right? After listening to the album over two times, a couple times, I gave it a listen. This is sonically Drake's best album. This is the most direct he's ever been. It's the most dissing I've ever heard. I mean, Pusha T, The Weeknd, Kanye, Rihanna, his baby mama, Gunna, Dylan Brooks, ASAP Rocky, and some couple other niggas that he wouldn't necessarily know. Um, he embraced fully being the goal on this. On this one, he embraced that he is the greatest rapper of all time, or the greatest artist of all time, that he has fully embraced that and, and everything that comes with it. Um, he embraces being a dog, of course, for all the dogs he was going to have to, you know what I'm saying? So he embraces the fact that he has hopes. He's willing to say that he, he does have, you know what I'm saying? Justine, Kathleen, Christine, Nadine, Shailene, Pauline. He has those, he has all of them. And, 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 and you know what else? You know what else? He packed them in the phone like sardines. That's what he said he did, and that's what he did, and that's okay. That's okay. If he wants to embrace that, let him embrace that. Don't shame him. You don't shame Sexy Red. You don't shame Sexy Red. That's another thing I'm not going to talk about. Um, I'm not going to talk about features. Because I feel like it's, uh, it, 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 it will ruin it for the rest of you who haven't listened to the motherfucker twice. If you haven't listened to it twice, go listen to it twice. You, you, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say too much. I want you to, like I said, I got no song to go ahead and uh, he got his interludes. He brought back the interludes. You know, I haven't, I mean, you know what I mean? Really had any drink interludes in a while. You know what I'm saying? You know, he, he famously started with the Breeze interlude. And, you know, I, I love the drink interludes on the album. You know, it makes for classic shit. You know, rest in peace, DJ Screw. You know what I'm saying? Um, and reading the album uh, in, in sections, very based off singing, rapping, relatability, beat selection, and creativity. I would say singing, I gave it a 9 out of 10. I, I can't tell you exactly why, because I want you to go listen to it. But surprisingly, it's up there. It's really, it's some up there, some, some up there shit. Some up there shit. And, 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 I can't say too much. Rapping, I'm gonna give a 9 out of 10 as well. You know, he could have a, a pause came harder on a couple of joints to me, I think, but honestly, it's some of the best rapping I've heard all motherfucking year. Some of the best shit we've heard all year, period, is on this album. Some of the best fucking rapping we any of us have heard all 2023 came on October 6th at 6 o'clock a.m. That's what I'm gonna say, and I mean that shit from the bottom of my heart. Um, relatability, you know, Drake is often a hard nigga to relate to nowadays, but when he talks about female troubles, like when he brings it down to a sense of I'm a man and I'm dealing with a woman, 8 out of 10. Cause he brought it down to he brought it down to that level to a level where you and I could really relate to what he's saying. No, like it, it didn't have shit to do with money, it had everything to do with her big gaslighting ass behavior. And I I'm, I'm there for it. I'm hundred percent there for it. Um now the creativity on this shit was a ten out of ten. Uh, again, I don't want to spoil it for you. But for those who are fans of Snoop Doggy Dogs Doggy Snow, uh, I know that and I know that we don't got a lot of uh, viewers of that age group in here, but I'm, I'm gonna say this. If you can remember Snoop Doggy Dogs Dog Doggy Style, or if you've never heard Snoop Doggy Dogs Dog Doggy Style, and I keep fucking that up, Doggy Style, go listen to that shit. Go listen to Doggy Style, then listen to For All the Dogs. It will help you. You're gonna be like, oh, that's why he told me to do that. You're gonna be, you think me later, you know what I mean? No pun intended. Um, for the true Drake fan, this would and should be your favorite Drake album. Hands down. I say that because he wrote this to be the, your, 
favorite drink. Oh, Wicked, you are a fan of the drink. If you are a hardcore and die fan of drinking, you've been watching him transition over the years and grow and, and see what, the, what this, this whole thing has become. You, you're gonna love this. You're gonna absolutely love it. And it's gonna be something that you cherish. Uh, with that being said, I give the album a 9 out of 10. I, I would love it. To give it a 10 out of 10, and like, why is he? Why are you giving it a 10 out of 10 from a charity? Because I can say this about it it didn't start as hard as some of his other albums. It didn't like start off like with the uh, nigga suck my dick like some of the other albums, and it didn't end with that like some of the other albums. It didn't end on one of those, um, how I put it, it didn't end on those deep rapping thoughts. You know what I'm saying? On one of one of his last albums, the, the last line was, "I know when when it's done, I'm going wild from God's front." Like, like that's deep shit. Then the, the last song didn't give me much to think about as far as the future goes, and the first song didn't give me that feeling of, "Oh, you niggas done done it now." You know what I'm saying? But all through and through, all throughout, classic, classic, certified. Platinum, uh, and I couldn't ask for anything more than that. As a, as a long-time drink supporter, fan, and advocate, I couldn't ask for anything more than that. Thanks for listening, y'all.